Hello everyone, it's Solutions, aka Megasan Fjord, and today I'm gonna show you a new method how to bypass uh, the latest Android device 6.0 with a September security patch level. And uh, for that, you will all, you will have to use also your PC and USB cable, and also make sure that you will have a valid SIM card inserted on your device for this method to work. So. You go to the web to computer and go search for the real term point two point zero download, and then click on the latest uh, on the, the most uh, up the first link, and then just click on the green box with it which is download. Then you proceed with that and just download will still will soon pops up, which you can see on the below. Okay, so uh, no need to wait long, just click on that once it will download it, so it will open automatically. So then you proceed with the clicking yes, and just you can use enter. No thinking a lot, just click enter. Okay, and then just wait a little bit. Okay, so okay, now you can. Click on the finish. Okay, and you see that application on your desktop. So click on it and you see it working. So just let's just close everything. And then let's tick for the half duplex. And uh, also go onto your desktop. Just click on the Windows button and then click Device Manager. D device Manager, and you will be see you will see Device Manager. Just click Enter and head to the modem. So you can see modem. It should seen here, but first of all, you will have to connect your device. So also make sure that you download the latest Samsung USB drivers on your device so you can find that on also uh, like typing in like Samsung USB drivers and download so just click OK and here on the developer samsung.com or any other uh, secure website links you will be able to download the link and make sure that this is the latest uh, drivers so OK guys so we, we we have now to put the USB cable. Okay, let's just do that. Okay, since it's put. Also, um, so we have to go back to our device manager, and then you will see a new popped up thing, which is modems, and click on that. Double click, and then click uh, right click on the for the properties, and then click on the modem. So you see port com number eight, and this is a shell, the essential information is number eight. So uh, make sure that this device uh, that the real term wasn't um, open before. So just open it once again and open it. Run as administrator. Click for yes. Okay, I will just close that. And uh, make sure that you tick half duplex and then uh, click on the port to check if your if the port number is the same, which is totally the same number rate. And then just proceed with the send. And here you will have to add few um, few comments, and one of them is uh, the first one, which is this one I will keep that on my description below so you'll be able to check that so just uh, put it in then send ACY well we see an error here but okay it's happened me for the first time but anyway guys so what you will have to do just uh, make sure that you unplug the device and then the close uh, real term, and then once again just run administrator. 
click yes then click half duplex and then check once again the device manager for the modem because as I mentioned before there might be problems so uh, okay so just let's close that again and click because that's why I'm show, showing you because many pro many guys are having the problem with that so that's why I'm showing you and do the same go for properties and click on modem and you will see the the same number 8 so run administrator click for yes check half duplex then port is number 8 which is the same and go to send and on the first field just copy information that I put also try if you have still you have problems so just try to put that manually so send and you guys see that it's not error anymore so the second comment will be this one and one two three this is the number that will be called okay you just copy that then send ACUII you can see on the device that it's calling okay so this okay so you have two options either create device then click scan business card and you will be able to get inside Galaxy apps okay great and also I will show you another method I mean uh, the way that you can send just go back Oh, so we will have to do that again so just a minute okay guys so you can see we're doing this again so I will show another method you just click on the message and then just click on google.com and then send okay just click on that link okay you can see that we are already on the browser which is good and so here you just uh, write galaxy apps galaxy apps so also and then okay just allow Samsung galaxy apps then here on the website you just click on the this galaxy apps Samsung Galaxy apps and this is as I showed you an, uh, another method to get here so now you will have to fa download file manager and uh, we have here a few managers so okay let's um, let's choose for example X file manager and install that but also you also can use the different one which I will show you so the best uh, file is S file browser then click on download and here guys you will have to put uh, or create a new Samsung account so to create that just click uh, create account and just sign in just click sign in okay so I'll do that Okay, so once you have signed in, so just wait since it's loading, and soon you will be able. Okay, so accept and download. Just wait. Soon be downloaded. And then, guys, you will have to. There will be a little bit uh, harder now but it will not take so long so just make sure that you will add few more not the comments but the web links so once you download just click on that okay so guys um, click on the here then click favorite and add here a few 
Okay, guys, so then you will have to add this path, which is Google HK8 double D. Then just put random name so that you can find this. Click add. Then click on this button and uh, then search for the name that you saved. Click on that. Okay, once it's done, so just wait for the browser to to connect to this website. Okay, we can see that. And this is the file that you will have to press. Just click on that. Just hold on. It looks like it's now okay now great it's downloading and then open the file and click on the settings and on all sources so just make sure that it's clicked and okay just allow all the time installation click OK and install the application so this is FRP bypass it's installing and it's on, okay so installed but if you like open the app it will yeah it will stop because you will have to add one more thing and this will be http then that's uh, the dots slashes on the right side and then VN ROM dot net then slash bypass and just name it somehow for me like okay let's name it like G then click on this again, find search for G. In your case, it will be different. And this, since this is Android 6.0, so just click on this one. And if you have uh, older device, so click on that link. So wait for the download complete. Of course, this also shouldn't take long. So just open the file and install. It's Google Manager. Okay, so once it's installed, just click done and get back. So you go to download, then click on uh, just a second. I think it's um, yeah, it's root. Then install it again. And now I think you will be all, oh, yep, now you are able to open that. So great. <laughs> okay, so next thing, the last step, you just click on the here, on the browse sign in. Click OK. Okay. Okay, great, so I'll just put my credentials. Okay, I put my credentials. Okay, so so once it's put, let's just restore our device. It should work. So let's do that. Just click on the restore and let's wait. Okay. Okay, the first boot loop, Samsung logo. Okay, it gives some signs of life. And then we'll proceed with the same, everything the same. Oh, 
Okay. Interesting. Okay. Click yes. Okay, click yes. Agree. Okay, now is the most important moment here. Checking for connection and we'll see if it allows or not to proceed. Okay, software update. Wow, the account has been added. Your first account is ready for use. You can add and remove accounts later in settings. <laughs> Amazing. So this is how it works. And as a proof, I will show you that this device has the latest Android version. Okay, so, so, what can I say? Everything is possible. And also, I want to tell you and mention big thanks to Ruth Janki, then GSM ABC. Really nice, guys, really nice videos, and you are really doing your good job. Also, a uh, big thanks to How To Solutions. And also, the latest guy that I found was VN Rom Channel. So, all these guys are really nice, and they also uh, they had ideas that I took and uh, like, but I did myself. And I just hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, please share the media. Okay, but it takes a long time, so anyway, yeah. it shouldn't take very long, but I just, maybe the Wi-Fi has problems. Anyway, uh, I like to use not Wi-Fi, but mobile data, since it will be, it's more great to use, or maybe I can skip video. So let's skip that. Okay, so here's the moment. Okay, so here's the moment. I will not show my email, just screen. Okay, skip anyway. Okay, which device? Oh my god, so many devices. <laughs> And still. Okay. Okay, so guys, I'll show you that this is the latest version. Okay, then software info, Android 6.0.1, then base bond, kernel, build number, security software version, and Android security patch level, which is September 2016, the newest one. So I was like sending SMS, which I used, so one of the method. Okay, and the next and the last thing you're gonna do is go to settings and then about device and make sure that you will again uh, reset your device so I think it will be here yeah just make sure that you thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed and it will be helpful so for someone so don't remember to don't forget to share to me the like and subscribe to my channel and see you guys